Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome. Happy New Year. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing well. My name is Joyce and I talk about immigration. Guys, how is the going? What is new? What are you applying for 2023? I hope you have your goals set and together we are going to help each other and see how far we can go. Yeah, any information that we share on this uh, channel is not legal advice, it's only for educational purposes. So guys, I want us to start working so hard just to catch up and to make sure that we are on, on, the, on the right track. Uh, I actually want us to revise a bit on the express entry because I've seen a lot of you people asking me on the comments, how is the new program affecting the express entry profiles and all that. So you all have heard about the new program or the new system that the express entry is using uh, for NOC codes, eh? National Occupation uh, National Occupational Classifications, NOC. You know, we have always had the one that is for 2016. We have always used the one that is for 2016. NOC is the one that helps to, to you know, to match your career and your skills. And then after that, they give you a code. And then you use that code to apply for jobs, for immigration pathways, for express entry. Everybody that has a career should be having at least an NOC code for Canada immigration. So by now, at least you need to have understood what is national occupational classification. So before we are saying that we have always used the one for 2016, but now we have a new one that is for 2021, but it has started working or it has taken effect from the November 16, 2022. So now we are switching. Those of you that had done the application for express entry, those of you that were in the pool for express entry before November 16, you need to go back to your pool and change. Go back to your portal, go back to your application and update your application with the new codes because if you do not do that, then your, your express entry file will not go through. Actually, what they are going to do is that if you don't match correctly, they are going to return your application. Okay, so now what we are saying is that um, right now what they are introducing is the, is the six category system, the one that is called TIER, T-E-T-W-E-R. -E it stands for training, education, experience and responsibilities so you know before they were just comparing your um, your qualifications or your work experience and they were comparing with your skills before the one that is for 2016 but now they have introduced the ter -E which is the training education experience and responsibilities these are the ones that now you'll be comparing with you'll be get you'll be using your training you combine with your education, your experience, and your responsibilities to get a new code. Okay? It's required for work in any occupation. Now, there's a way that you need to identify your code. And I say that everybody that needs to come to Canada under these programs, mainly under, um, if you're coming under um, any of this program, if you're coming under Express Entry, Express Entry, remember, it has three categories, Federal Skilled Worker Program, Canadian Experience Class, and Federal Skilled Trades. You know the difference by now. If you don't know, please go back to my videos. The other one is Atlantic Immigration Program. The other one is Provincial Nominee Program. That one you know. Caregivers Programs. We have a new video for caregiver programs. It's January, guys. January, every January we normally do caregiver programs. Then after January, if you see somebody else, a YouTuber doing that video, just know it's just for cloud chasing. It's normally done in January. And then after January, it fills up very quickly by April. It's full and you cannot do it again. The other one is Rulo and Northern Immigration Pilot. I actually have a lawyer who has said that he'll be helping people to do Rulo and Northern Immigration Pilot. If you have your IELTS 4.5 band and you also have either your West or your ICAS, please contact me through the email, send me a screenshot of those two, and then he will hook you up. Then the other one is agri-food pilot, and then out-of-status construction workers, international mobility program. I did a video, I think, last week. 
and then temporary foreign worker program. Anyone that wants to come under this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any of these nine programs, you have to understand your NOC code. It's a must. If you do not know your NOC code 2021, there's no way you're going to come to Canada. So maybe the need for this video is just to make you, make you at least understand how you can match your, um, your NOC code and how at least you should be able to identify. I'm, I'm going to share this link on the description so you don't have to worry. Uh, you're going to read through. If you do not understand, you can just type on the, on the comment section and I'll be answering your questions. So um, uh, briefly, let us go through the tier categories. That is T W E R. As of November 16th, 2022, the NOC system made to switch from the previous 2016 NOC system. That's what we are saying. And we are saying that the tier, is it O or one? It's zero. Tier zero is for management occupations. And then tier zero, one, two, and uh, uh, zero, one, and two, hmm? and three. Those ones are the ones that I understand in terms of express entry because if you have tier five then i don't know how you're going to go through express entry but tier zero is for management occupations i don't know whether they'll be reading it all or zero but i think it's zero because the others are one two three four so tier zero is for management occupations tier one is for complete you have completed university degree either you have a bachelor's master's or doctorate and then you have several years of experience in a specific occupation tier category two where applicable. So tier one, tier, tier zero is for management. Tier one is for, is for people that have bachelor's, master's and doctorate. Then tier two is for people that have completed post-secondary education program. That is somebody who after high school, they went and did maybe a two or three years at community college, Institute of Technology, and they have completed uh, uh, their appre uh, apprenticeship training of two to five years. Also, somebody who has occupations with supervisory or significant safety, like police officers, firefighter responsibilities, they also fall under tier two. Tier three is for people that have completed a post-secondary education program less than two years okay tier three is less than two years in a community college and somebody else who has more than six months on the job training training courses of specific work experience this is the question guys we were asking us ourselves about the nurses i think the nurses can can get can apply uh express entry through tier three because they have more than six months of the on job training okay and there are others that have less than two years training. So it doesn't, they have not said minimum of how many months of training. As long as it's less than two years and you have got at least six months of on job training. Let's say, for example, you trained maybe for four months, nurses, and then you also have six months of on job training. During that work, you have been trained, like the truck drivers, like the nurses, I think they can all fall under tier three. Then tier four, that one is the one I don't like. Is you have completed high school or several weeks of on-job training with some secondary school education. Several years of experience in a specific occupation. It's not so bad. I think they're saying it's from category tier five. So five and four, they are for people that have completed their high school and they have at least working experience. And I think they also the truck drivers fall under this because most of the truck drivers, they ask for high school education. So you can apply for express entry through tier four and five. So you can see under all these, there's none of them that has, has less than high school. So if somebody has less than high school, you can imagine they cannot apply for express entry. They can come to Canada through other means, but they cannot come to through express entry the minimum is actually high school and working experience that is how you you do your tier zero one two three four 
three, four, and five. Higher. If you want to, to compare with the, the skill type, uh, if you talk about skill type O, that was always for managers, you'll compare it with tier zero. Skill type A, that was always for professionals, is going to compare with tier one. If you do skill type B, is going to match with tier two and three. If you do skill type C, it's going to match with tier four. If you do skill type D, it's going to match with tier five. That's how you know them. I think the best thing is to sit down with these guys, read through the link that I'll be sharing on the description, understand these things so that if you have already submitted your express entry profile before 16th of November, 2022, it means that you have to, you have to withdraw and do another, not really another application, but you can update. They have provided a way of, of changing it. I can see a lot of them here have changed. Like here, they are saying that, hey, hey, this one's, so many of them have changed. So like the NOC 63201 for butchers, retail, and wholesale, then NOC 65202, meat cutters and fish mongers. Then industrial butchers, agricultural service, specialized livestock, livestock laborers. These guys can only come through. I think these ones can only come through Rulo. Rulo and Northern Immigration Pilot. The one that I told you, if you have ICAS and you also, or West, and you also have a band of 4.5, I think you can come through Rulo. Okay, then... Um, that's it, guys. So we will be discussing a lot about NOC codes so that national occupation eh, classification so that at least we get to understand. If you have not watched my video for yesterday about uh, home support workers, please watch so that you can get to understand and apply. Apply is urgent, that one, because after January, February, Nobody will should talk about it because by by March, January, February, March, by March is full because they have very few postings. So apply as earlier, as earlier as you can. Bye and see you in the next video.